yes friends let's understand how equity plus safety makes prosperity so from index long term strategy we will understand that we can generate logical returns with a very low risk so we always start this presentation with the example of properties in recent survey we got to know that almost 48% of investments are happening in real estate and the reason is very simple because property provides two confidence to investors confidence number 1 it can't become zero and confidence number 2 if we can hold the properties sooner or later we get the growth but when we invest money in equities we don't get this kind of confidence if we select some wrong stock then our money can become zero also so that means we are having high risk in equities and high returns are there in equities we don't want to take this kind of risk in index long term strategy so we have taken two decisions over here decision number 1 that we are not going to trade individual equities what does it mean it means no direct shares no reliance no tata steel no suzlon no educom no direct shares so if we are not going to invest money in equities where are we going to invest money we will invest money in index the index name of nse is nifty what exactly the nifty 50 is it is the average of top 50 stocks of country as of now those top 50 stocks are reliance tcs hdfc etc but before some time we were having satyam computer reliance communication reliance capital also in those 50 stocks as soon as their valuation has fallen down it reached to 51 number it automatically moved out and new stocks came in the point is very simple weak stocks moved out strong companies came in but because of this provision we have got the confidence that index can't become zero because it is the average of top 50 stocks of country now let's understand how we calculate the index before some time the valuation of reliance was around 13 lakh crore tcs valuation was 12 lakh crore if we sum up the top 50 stocks valuation it was around 117 lakh crore and this 117 lakh crore was equal to 15000 index now when the price of these stocks rises the value of company will rise the total will rise and simultaneously the index will rise and the same rule is applicable how index is falling down now a very logical point is that suppose today the richest company of india is having the valuation of 13 lakh crore then after 5 year 10 year 15 year 20 years whoever will be the super power of india that company should have the valuation about 13 lakh crore obviously because of growth because of inflation there are lot many factors if that company will have the valuation about 13 lakh crore that doesn't mean that it will be the reliance it may change some new company may come but whoever will be the super power of india after 20 years that company should have the valuation about 13 lakh crore if that will be about 13 lakh crore then total of 50 stocks at that time will jointly have the valuation about 117 lakh crore and simultaneously the index will be above 15000 what did we learn we understood that whatever confidence we are getting from the properties that it can't become zero sooner or later it rises the same confidence we are getting from the index of that country because index is the average of top 30 top 50 stocks it cannot become zero because it is directly related with the market valuations so sooner or later it creates new high look at the graph of index since inception thousands of time it has gone up and thousands of time it has fallen down but after some time it creates new high again fell down created new high fallen down created new high fallen down created new high and so on because a retail investor can't do that thing index always does and that point is that it always removes the weak stocks and it always considers or includes the strong companies that normally retail investors cannot do so now let's go ahead and understand how equity plus safety makes prosperity 
we believe that for growth equity is important but with equity we should have safety also so the question comes can we get safety in equity the answer is yes how let us see that first let us purchase index for an example assume it that index is running at 10000 as of now so you will invest 10000 rupee and you will get the index so now if market will rise you will earn money and if market will fall down you will lose money we don't want to lose money so immediately we will buy the protection what exactly this protection is this is same like we are buying an insurance for our car if car will met with an accident we will get the claim if nothing happens we will lose the premium looking at past 8 9 10 years experience annual put option comes around 5% a year so if index is running at 10000 you need to pay 500 rupee for the protection we call it put option in financial market it is called put option what exactly the put option is put option means right to sell so we are getting downside protection so for others the cost of index was around 10000 for us it has reached to 10500 because we have bought the protection also so our cost has gone up but simultaneously we have got one fantastic solution and that fantastic point is because of any reason if market falls down then my principal of 10000 is going to remain protected my maximum risk is this premium only for example if you have made the portfolio of 1 crore so in any case because of any reason if market falls down suppose market has fallen down by 50% my 1 crore cannot go below 95 lakhs because i have paid this protection to have the limited risk so this is the beauty of this strategy that we are having downside limited risk but obviously we will have some side effect of this what is the side effect of this strategy side effect is that because of any reason if market remains at the same level for a year then whatever premium we have paid that we are going to lose so now let us understand the worst case scenario the worst case scenario is suppose in 2023 index is running at 10000 four years has gone 2027 has come but still index is running at 10000 only ultimately this is in stock market it may happen so if market remains at the same level for four years then whatever premium you have paid during these four years that you are going to lose suppose you have created the portfolio of 1 crore in between 2024 25 26 market has gone up from 10000 to 12000 in 2024 but again it has fallen down like in corona period again it has gone up and fallen down you have made the portfolio 1 crore you would like to have the protection so you will pay the 5 lakh rupee premium for the same next year market has gone up from 10000 to 12000 so market has gone up by 20% so your portfolio 1 crore will also rise to 1.2 crore but you are going to earn 15 lakhs only because 5 lakh rupee you have paid as a premium now next year you would like to protect the portfolio 1.2 crore so your portfolio valuation has gone up so definitely you need to pay more premium now so instead of 5 lakh now you will pay 6 lakh rupee for next year protection next year market has fallen down from 12000 to 8000 it has fallen down by 33% so logically your 1.2 crore portfolio will reach to 80 lakhs so you have lost 40 lakh rupee in valuation so this 40 lakh rupee you are going to get back from this put option you have paid this premium for this reason only that whenever market will fall down you will lose the money then you should get the difference back what are you going to do from this 40 lakh rupee you will reinvest it so your earlier portfolio was already there of 80 lakhs new portfolio you have added of 40 lakhs because you got the claim so without putting any new money your number of equity has gone up and your portfolio 1.2 crore remain constant to 1.2 crore only this is the beauty of this strategy market has fallen down but you have not fallen down rather your number of units has gone up again you have paid the premium next year market has recovered again reached back to earlier level of 12000 but for us market has gone up from 8000 to 12000 so it has gone up by 50% 
So your 1.2 crore portfolio will rise to 1.8 crore. Again, you have paid the premium next year. Market has fallen down. But now you have already understood the logic. When market will fall down, you will not fall down. Rather, your number of units will rise. What did we learn? We understood that in four years, market remained at the same level from 10,000 to 10,000 only. But your one crore has reached to 1.8 crore because of simple reason that you have bought the protection. You have paid the premium for this. 5 plus 6, 11 lakhs. Plus 6, 17 lakhs. Plus 9, 26 lakh rupee. So net you are going to receive 1.54 crore only. But the learning is in four years market remains same. Still you are growing. People who have followed this kind of strategy. So on one side they have enhanced their returns. Because whenever markets are rising you are earning money. And on second side they have reduced their risk. Now their risk is calculated risk. You understand how much maximum risk you are going to have in full on one year. So you have reduced your risk, you have enhanced your returns. Normally we have heard that higher the risk means higher the return but we don't agree with this. We say that smart calculation makes high returns. And here you have chosen two smartness. Smartness number one, always trade in index. Because index can't become zero, sooner or later it rises. And smartness number two, always keep protection with you. Because of protection, your risk has fallen down, your returns has gone up. Mr. Warren Buffet, he is sharing that there are only two rules of investment. Rule number one, never lose money. In stock market, how is it possible? Never lose money. And rule number two, never forget rule number one. Again, there is a focus on rule number one only. What is the learning for us? The learning is that this is our responsibility to protect our wealth. If we can protect it, definitely sooner or later we can grow it. So we learned five learnings till now. Learning number one, first we understood the concept of property and we found that in properties investors are getting too confident it can't become zero sooner or later it rises. Then learning number two, we found the concept of equity and we understood that equity doesn't give this kind of confidence if we select wrong stock our money can become zero also. Then learning number three, we got the solution of this problem and the solution is concept of index. Because index is the average of top 50 stocks of country, it cannot become zero and sooner or later it rises. Then we learn that there is a availability of protection with index. So we can have protection with index. And finally we learn the concept called equity plus safety makes prosperity. And when we added the safety with equity, we have enhanced our returns, we have reduced our risk. So these learnings we learn till now. Now the question comes, how can we use all these learnings in our real market trades? So now let us understand three strategies. The first strategy is relax plan. Suppose you are having 100 rupees with you, you want to invest these 100 rupees. So what you will do? You will transfer this 100 rupee to your trading account. From this 100 rupees, 30 rupees you are going to invest in equity segment. From this 30 rupees you will purchase index ETF. So the question comes, what is ETF? So index ETFs are normally are the mutual funds. They invest money with the philosophy of index only. They purchase all the 50 stocks who are there in index within the same proportion so that investor can get the exact index return. And then they list this mutual fund in equity segment so that people can trade through equity market. And because of that reason it is called exchange traded funds. So you have bought 30 rupees ETF, you will get the delivery in your DMAT account, you will put those delivery as collateral. So now the second question comes, what is collateral? So when you trade in derivatives market, in future options market, you need to put the margin over there. You can put this margin as cash also or as stock also. As per the recent SEBI update, 50% margin you can keep as stock, 50% you need to put in cash. 
so when you put your stock as margin it is called that you have kept them as collateral from this collateral margin you will buy index futures of 70 rupees and ultimately you have created the index portfolio of full 100 rupee but the beauty is that you have invested just 30 rupees but you have created the portfolio of full 100 rupees you have not done this kind of trade for first time you have already done these kind of trades many times in your life whenever you have bought the property you have done these kind of trades only you have bought the property of 100 rupee you are investing 30 rupees from your bank account and you are taking the loan of 70 rupees and by this way you get the property of full 100 rupee when market rises you earn on 100 when market loses you lose on 100 for us nifty is white ka property all the quality of properties are already there in index we have already learned that so now we will earn on full 100 rupee portfolio we will lose also on 100 rupee portfolio we don't want to lose on 100 rupee portfolio in downside market so immediately we will buy the protection by paying this 5 rupee premium we have got the surety that now my complete 100 rupee portfolio is protected i am not going to lose money when market will fall down one more cost i need to incur that cost is called financing cost why financing cost because you have created the portfolio of 100 rupee but you have invested just 30 rupees you have bought the futures over there when we buy the futures every month we need to roll over the futures so for rollover we need to pay some forwarding premium because next month future runs little bit high compared to the current month so we sell current month and we buy the next month to forward it normally it comes around 30 to 40 point sometimes 70 to 80 point these are the negligible figure but if we consider for full one year it comes around 500 to 600 points that comes around 4 to 5 percent year yearly cost now this has become the opportunity for you indirectly you are getting the funds 70 rupee funds just 5 percent cost and that is why we are buying the futures so now what is my cost on 70 rupees 5 percent means just 3.50 rupee cost so my total gross cost has reached to 8.50 rupees 5 rupees from hedging 3.50 rupees from financing so total gross cost is 8.50 rupees from this 8.50 percent cost we have got two fantastic features feature number one that my complete portfolio is protected and feature number two I have invested just 30 rupees but created the portfolio of 100 rupees because of this point 70 rupees are already available in my trading account that I can use somewhere else. I was having 100 rupees with me. I wanted to make the portfolio of 100 rupees but that portfolio I have already created with the investment of 30 rupees only. So 70 rupees are there. So now we are going to put that 70 rupees in debt. Suppose you are generating just RBI interest rate only 7.35%. So on 70 rupees, 7.35% a year. So indirectly 5 rupees you are going to get back as interest income. So 8.50 rupees is not your cost. Out of this, you are getting 5 rupees back as interest income. So your net cost is just 3.50 rupees. What did we learn? We understood that because of any reason if market falls down, suppose market has fallen down by 50, 60, 70 percent, your 100 rupee cannot go below 96, 95 rupee because you are protected. And when market rises, you are going to earn for full 100 rupee because you have created the portfolio of full 100 rupee. We have named this plan as relax plan. Do you know why? Because after learning this plan, we feel relaxed. This was the desire of an investor that we should get safety as well as growth. So we are getting both the things over here. Now the second plan is basic plan. The beauty of basic plan is that the initial part of relax and basic is completely same. So it will become very easy for you to learn. Here also you have invested 30 rupees. You have created the portfolio of 100 rupees. You have incurred the cost of 8.50 and out of this 8.50 you have got the protection as well as financing. So the question comes then what is new in basic plan? In basic plan the new thing is where you are going to put your 70 rupees. In relax plan that the previous one 
you have invested that money at 7.35% interest only. But you may raise the question that why are you putting my money at just 7.35% interest rate? I am having some better option with me. I can generate more interest income somewhere else. Then as a good financial advisor, we will give you the approval and authority that you can use this 70 rupees somewhere else if you can generate more interest income over there so definitely your net cost will automatically move further down so you can reduce your net cost so basic plan is giving you the independence that the 70 rupees or the 70 percent fund you can use somewhere else if you can generate higher interest income somewhere else the third plan and the last plan is power booster plan as name itself suggests that here you can use the power of your current portfolio. In our previous plan, we have invested 30 rupees to buy index ETF so that we can put them as collateral. But you can have the question that I am already having lot many stocks and mutual funds with me. Can I use it? The answer is yes. You can use your current portfolio over there to put them as collateral. In that case, you don't have to invest that 30 rupees also. Please consider or understand that you don't have to sell your portfolio. Whatever advantages you were getting from your portfolio that you are already going to get over here on. You have just kept them as collateral. From this collateral margin, you have bought the futures of full 100 rupee. Why full 100 rupee futures you have bought this time? Because this time you have not invested your 30 rupees also. So without investing any money, you have created the portfolio of full 100 rupee. When market will rise, you will earn on 100 rupee. When market will fall down, you will lose on this 100 rupee. You don't want to lose that money. So immediately you will buy the protection like our earlier plans. So your first cost is this 5 rupees. This time your financing cost will be charged on full 100 rupee. Because this time you have not invested your 30 rupees also. So on 100 rupee, 5% means 5 rupee will be your financing cost. So instead of 8.50, now your total cost has reached to 10 rupees but the beauty is that you have invested just 10% amount only. You were having 100 rupees with you. You wanted to make the portfolio of 100 rupees but you have invested just 10 rupees and you have created the portfolio of 100 rupees with protection and financing. 90 rupees are already there idle with you. You can keep them, you can put them somewhere else to generate debt interest income. Suppose you are generating just 7.35% only on the rest 90 rupees. So definitely you are going to generate 6.50 rupees as interest income. So what is your net cost? Again your net cost has reached to 3.50% only. And if you can generate more interest income on rest 90 rupees, then definitely you can reduce this cost further down. In all the three plans, we are having downside limited risk. This is the beauty of index long term strategy. You are generating upside unlimited returns. You are getting the interest arbitrage benefit. What is the interest arbitrage benefit? That means you are paying lower interest for your futures. And you are generating more interest income from your debt. So the difference is enhancing your returns. Outperforming your returns. And because of all these reasons, in long run you are beating the index. You are outperforming it. So till now what did we learn? We understood that this is the combination of equity, futures and safety. Why equity? Because we want growth. Why futures? Because we are getting the funds at 4 to 5 percent interest rate only. In India if we are getting the funds at 4 to 5 percent, we should take it and we should put our money in debt so that we can play the interest arbitrage. And why we are protecting it or hedging it? Because we want to trade with calculated risk only, with limited risk only. Why are we investing money in index? Because index provides us two confidence. It can't become zero, sooner or later it will rise. So that is why we are having low risk profile. The past record is very strong. We have the complete infrastructure, advisory portal, reporting portal, algorithmic portal. Everything is ready with us. You just get everything on just click of buttons. People can choose systematic withdrawal also. There is no lock-in period. What does it mean? 
it means whenever you want to enter you can enter and whenever you want to exit from this strategy you can exit there is no entry load no exit load no penalty but still we want you to invest money for at least 5 to 10 years horizon because ultimately you are investing money in equity segment with protection so if you complete complete one trading cycle then only you can see the beauty of this strategy whenever market will rise you will rise whenever market will fall down you will not fall down rather your number of units will rise and next year when market will again outperform or recover you are going to create new high so for that you should have the horizon of 5 to 10 years but there is no lock in period we have the dedicated team they will help you step by step we have the algorithms so that you can get speed accuracy consistency people can plan their retirement kids higher education kids wedding from these kind of strategies and the most beautiful point is all the trades are going to happen in your own account so you don't have to put your money to somebody else your money will remain with you only you don't have to open new account new trading account new demat account nothing required so wherever you are already investing money in your equity segment the same account can be used for this strategy so your money will stay with you you are completely secured and independent you may have lot many questions with you that which plan i should select how much exposure i should create what will be my cost how much money i should invest initially can i get some sip options over here i am having stock portfolio with me how can i use it how much interest i can save what will be my fee so for getting answer of all these questions you have already got the link in description click on this no more form fill up this form so that you can get all the information over there we have added lot many frequently asked questions over here so that you can get more clarity about this strategy so the first question that normally people ask us that i am already reaching to retirement now can i get some systematic withdrawal from this because i am not having any other revenue source so for household expenses i need regular withdrawal can i get it the answer is yes how can you get it so suppose you are making the portfolio of 100 rupees every month 50 paisa you can withdraw so that means for a year you have already withdrawn 6% every year so like fd return you have already withdrawn and still this portfolio will automatically perform the second point comes that here you have given the example of 1 crore rupee i want to test this strategy with some minimum amount so what can be my minimum exposure in this strategy so the good news is you can start this investment with just one lot of nifty the nifty lot size is 50 quantity suppose nifty is running at 20000 so 20000 multiply by 50 that means around 10 lakh rupee will be your minimum exposure for this strategy and then you can increase the quantity in the same multiple so suppose you are investing one lot only so what will be your investment amount so in relax plan we learned that we are investing complete 100% amount in our trading account only we have invested 30 rupees in equity and 70 rupees in debt through our trading account then the next plan was basic plan what was the beauty of basic plan in basic plan if we have the confidence that we can generate more interest income on 70 rupees somewhere else then we can use that 70 rupees somewhere else in trading account we are going to invest only 30% amount and in power booster if we are having portfolio with us then we need to invest just 10% amount only in trading account rest 90% fund we can use somewhere else to generate more interest income so for one lot of investment that means the value of one lot will be 10 lakh so in relax plan you are going to invest full 10 lakh rupee in basic plan you are going to invest 30% only so that means 3 lakh rupee so on 7 lakh rupee you are saving the interest somewhere else and in power booster you are investing just 10% so that means 1 lakh rupee only <coughs> so on 9 lakh rupee you are saving the interest somewhere else in power booster you just need to take care that you should have 30% stocks to put as collateral 
So suppose here you are making the portfolio of 10 lakh rupee. So you should have 3 lakh rupee equity or mutual fund to put as collateral. That's all. So the next question comes that here you have explained 3 plans. Which plan is good for me? If I want to understand, then can you compare all the 3 plan on one slide? So now let us have the comparison. The first plan was relax plan. What is the beauty of relax plan? The beauty of relax plan was that you are investing 10 lakh rupee and you are generating returns also on 10 lakh rupee. So what is new in this? In equity also when we invest 10 lakh rupee we are generating the returns on full 10 lakh rupee only. The beauty is that if market will fall down then you are going to have limited risk of 3 to 4 percent only. So this is the beauty of relax plan. On upside you are generating returns on full exposure. But on downside, you are having the limited risk. The second plan was basic plan. What is the beauty of basic plan? The beauty of basic plan is that if you can generate more interest income somewhere else, then you are investing just 30% in trading account. But still you are making the portfolio full 100% amount. You have invested 3 lakh rupee for one lot, but you are generating returns on 10 lakh rupee. And because of this, you are saving interest on 7 lakh rupee somewhere else. And by considering that interest income, again you are having limited risk downside. The third plan was power booster plan. The beauty of power booster plan was if you are having stocks with you, then you just need to invest 10% amount only over here. So by investing just 1 lakh rupee, you have created the portfolio full 10 lakh rupee. You are saving the interest on 9 lakh rupee and because of this you are having limited risk downside. All the three plans are having limited risk. All the three plans are generating returns on same exposure. The difference is that initial investments in three plans are different. And because of the initial investments are different, your gross cost in your trading account is different. But after considering the interest income from the rest amount, your downside risk is limited. So now let us move toward the risk management. This is the responsibility of a good investment advisor. Whenever they explain the strategy, they should explain the risk part also. So here let us understand the risk part first and then the solution of that risk. So the derivatives market, future options market, the beauty of derivatives market is that we are having the payment options over there. And this is the reason you have invested just 3 lakh rupee or 1 lakh rupee and still you have created the portfolio of 10 lakh rupee. So this is the strength of derivative market and this the same thing is the problem of derivatives market. That is also the payment option. So if you don't keep the proper funds with your member, with your broker, then your broker can cut your position in between also. So you need to understand what will be your cash flow requirement during the complete investment journey. So the main USP of index long term strategy, we call it ILTS. The main beauty of ILTS is that your cash flow is predefined. You will understand how much amount you require to put during the complete journey of this investment. So this is providing you the certainty. During the corona period, market has fallen down by 40%. But you were not required to put any new money in this strategy. So now let us understand what will be your cash flow requirement. So initial requirement we have already understood. In relax plan you will put 100% money. In basic plan 30%. In power booster 10%. So for 10 lakh rupee portfolio, in relax plan you will invest full 10 lakh rupee initially. In basic plan 3 lakh and in power booster 1 lakh. Now the point comes that here you are putting the money or you are incurring the cost for protection. You are buying the future so you are paying financing cost. So net cost will get deducted from this investment amount only. So all the cost hedging and financing will get deducted from here. Now suppose take the example of basic plan. In basic plan you are going to invest 3 lakh rupee but you will make the portfolio of 10 lakh rupee. You will buy the protection for 10 lakh rupee exposure. So that cost you need to pay from this 3 lakh rupee. We will buy the futures for 10 lakh rupee. You need to pay the future financing cost from this 
3 lakh rupees so that cost was around 8.5% we have already learned that so that will be around 85,000 rupees so you have paid 85,000 rupees from this 3 lakh rupees for a year now suppose this year market has not performed market remained to the same level or had fallen down so you are not going to earn new money but you have already incurred the cost one year has gone now next year you need to put further money over here because 85,000 rupees you have already incurred the cost and on 7 lakh rupees you are generating interest income somewhere else so you need to bring that interest income over here so if your answer is yes that means you have understood this if you are confused then try to understand the past slide again this was the previous slide in basic plan and power booster plan the beauty is for making the portfolio of 10 lakh you are investing 3 lakh rupee or 1 lakh rupee only in your trading account so you are getting payment options over here and because of these payment options you are saving the interest income somewhere else so that interest income you need to bring every year over here so what how much amount you need to bring so in relax plan 3.5 percent was the cost so around 35,000 rupees for one lot in basic plan 8.5 percent was the cost so you may have the question why 8.5 percent cost because you are saving the interest income somewhere else so gross cost is already here so that means 85,000 rupees you need to bring over here after a year and in power booster for one lot one lakh rupee 10 percent will be the cost now you may have the question that what will happen if I don't put this money after a year then broker will not allow you to forward that position next year so what can be the good solution when you understand that after one year you may require this fund you should plan that fund from the first month only try to store every month 1% SIP you have created the portfolio of 10 lakh rupee so 1% of this 10 lakh rupee will be around 10,000 rupee so make an SIP plan of 10,000 rupee every month so after one year you will have 1.2 lakh rupee kitty with you you are going to invest this money you are not going to keep this money idle so by this way whenever this fund will require automatically you will have the sufficient fund with you so broker cannot cut your position in between so you have solved the risk management part in property you are doing the same point you are buying the 10 lakh rupee property initially you invest 3 lakh rupee then you pay the EMI of 10,000 and after some time your complete 10 lakh rupee property becomes yours we want to make your portfolio of nifty in this way only so in basic or power booster plan where you are getting the payment option you should do monthly SIP now you may have one more question that here we are getting the payment option in basic and power booster plan that is really good but to maintain the SIP discipline this is really questionable for me so you may have this kind of question so do we have any solution so yes you have the solution for that also and that is the comfort plan this is not a new plan this is just the extension of basic plan in basic plan initially you are investing 30 rupees and then you are handling the discipline of 1 rupee every month as SIP if you don't want to have the discipline of 1 rupee SIP every month then instead of 30 rupees you should invest initially 50 rupees only just invest 20 rupees more by investing this 20 percent more now for next three years you don't have to put any kind of SIP so you got the independence from this SIP load so the comfort plan has given you the comfort of payment option instead of 100 you are investing 50 rupees and simultaneously you have no stress of SIP for three years in next three years if you earn money then again you don't have to put money for next few more years because you have already got the profit so from that profit you can have or you can handle that cost so comfort plan has given you the extra comfort of getting the independence of SIP as well as 
having the benefit of payment options. Now the question comes which plan is good for me? Relax plan is good for people who are near to retirement or who want regular withdrawal or whose risk profile is very low. Those people should choose relax plan. Then the basic plan. This plan is good for people who can generate more interest income somewhere else. That is why they are investing 70 rupees somewhere else. And they should have the discipline of monthly SIP. Then the third plan is the extension of basic plan that is comfort plan for the same people who can generate more interest income somewhere else. But they don't want to keep the monthly SIP discipline. So if you don't want to keep monthly SIP discipline, you should choose comfort plan that is 50% wala plan. And the fourth plan is power booster plan. This plan is good for people who are having the portfolio with them, who can generate more interest income somewhere else and who can handle the monthly SIP discipline. Those people can choose power booster plan. The next question comes, what is the commercial of fin ideas in this? So we are charging a very nominal fee for this. If your portfolio is below 1 crore, for 6 months you are paying the fee of just 75 paisa. When your portfolio reaches to 1 crore rupee, the fee will further reduce down to 62 paisa only. When your portfolio reaches to 5 crore, fee will further reduce to 50 paisa only. This fee is for 6 months. So now let us take an example. Suppose you have created the portfolio of 1 lot that is 10 lakh rupee. So your fee will be 0.75 paisa. So 0.75% of 10 lakh rupee will be 7500 rupees. So this is the fee for fin ideas. For how many months? For 6 months. So what will be your monthly cost? So 7500 divided by 6 around 1250 will be your monthly cost. By incurring this monthly cost of 1250 only, you are getting all the facilities which are required for index long term strategy. For example, which plan you should select? How much exposure you should make? What will be your portfolio advisory? Which strike you should select? Which expiry you should trade? How much quantity you should trade? When you should enter? How you are going to manage shift your rollover your trade? How you are going to avoid margin call? How you are going to handle M2M? Your complete position report you will get on click or button. At the end of year we will provide you the complete tax related reports so that you can file your ITR very easily. You will get your performance report on your app as well as on your back office. So that just click a button you can get the complete update of your strategy separately. Because in your trading account you are going to do lot many trades. But from this back office of fin ideas you are going to get the complete report of index long term strategy. So now for that what you need to do. So first you should complete your KYC so that you can get the answer of all your questions. Is there any charge of KYC? No, it is completely free. How I can complete my KYC? So you have already got the link of KYC in your description. Click on that link, fill up the form, fill up your basic information. First you need to, first you need to complete sign up your account. So for that you need to put your email over there. After putting the email verification, you need to complete your PAN verification. After completing the PAN verification, you need to put your basic information. It will take around 3 to 4 minutes only. After putting the basic information, we will ask you few questions. From those few questions, we will give you the final report that which plan is good for you, how much exposure you should make, what will be your initial investment, what will be your SIP, how much money you will get as return and what will be your hedging and financing cost, how much interest you are going to save, what will be your annual cost, what will be the fee of in ideas, everything, the complete report you are going to get in just 5 minutes and that is also free of cost. So for KYC there are no charges. After completing your KYC, complete your agreement. So for the completion of your agreement, you need to put your Aadhaar number over there and then OTP. Are there any charges for agreement? No. There are no charges for agreement. But by completing this process, now you will get all the information about your investment. After that, if you feel satisfied, then you should complete your 
e mandate that is your fee e mandate for your e mandate if you complete the e mandate as of now then you are going to get the discount of 5% in your fee so your 100 rupee fee will become 95 rupee the second advantage is whenever you want to stop your e mandate you can do that and the third advantage is the 30 days cancellation policy suppose after 10 days you feel that this is not the correct product for me i want to stop this product you can stop it and you will get the refund of complete fee back without asking any questions so you are getting the 30 days cancellation because we are very confident that it is going to make sense for you so for completion of your e mandate just go further after completing the agreement you will get the button for e mandate open that form fill up that form put your bank information over there and then sign in and put the otp after completing the otp your e mandate will be done so when you complete your kyc and e mandate then you will automatically get the advisory on your email so as per your advisory you need to put the trade if you want the support from fin ideas team fin idea team will be there to support you after completing your kyc you will get the relationship manager so they will help you in execution and after completion of the trade execution you will automatically get the back office so that you can track your performance your reports your systems your position everything so this is the simple flow complete your kyc now you will get the advisory trade it and you will get the complete reports now the next question comes is it the right time to invest money try to understand when market will rise you are going to earn in equity returns and when market will fall down you are going to remain protected you are going to have limited risk only simultaneously your number of units will rise so both kind of movements are good for you so any moment is a good moment to invest money in index long term strategy you just need to ask yourself can i hold this position for 5 years if your answer is yes then can i bear the cost for 5 years if again your answer is yes then you can start this investment the next question comes why should i choose fin ideas you should choose fin ideas because we are sebi registered investment advisor so all the things are compliant with sebi guidelines the second point is we have the complete back office online with us so that you can get all the reports on just click of button we have the experience of more than 21 years so that you can get the advantage of all these experiences and the fourth point is we are having the algorithms so that you can get speed accuracy and consistency we are from fin ideas investment ke ideas matlab fin ideas we are sebi registered investment advisor and the disclaimer is that investments in securities market are subject to market risk read all the related documents carefully before investing we are dealing with more than 75 members of exchange we are india's 26th company to get the nse approval for our algorithms and till now we have served more than 90000 traders and investors the mission of fin ideas is providing transparent solution to everyone for achieving financial freedom everybody should achieve financial freedom for that fin ideas is working and the vision of fin ideas is fin ideas will manage wealth of rupees 25000 crores and serve hnis and members of exchange globally by 31st march 2028 friends you may have further questions so on description link you have got the link to ask the more questions over there our team will help you to solve your queries and on behalf of fin ideas myself ca govind jawar i wish for everyone that you create huge wealth in your life you enjoy that wealth and you teach all this wealth wisdom to your surrounding as well as your next generation so that you and your next generation should achieve financial freedom so friends come on these kind of lectures and on our website whenever you feel that you want to learn new things keep in touch with us invest money in these kind of products where you can get safety as well as growth and simultaneously keep on referring to your friends and relatives 
so that your surrounding can also achieve financial freedom so again thank you everyone thank you